What's going on, on YouTube? So right before we get started, don't forget to click like and subscribe and also don't forget to check out the merch store. So with all that out the way, let's talk about the 100D light versus the 60D light. And uh, on a side note, I did the 100D light versus the 120D light. And let's put it this way. A lot of you guys really enjoyed it, that video. You guys did the likes and also left your comments. It allows me to understand what you guys want to know in a lighting review. So thank you guys for doing that. And uh, with all that out the way, let's get along with this review because you guys are wondering the difference between a 60D light versus a 100D light. So first things first, obviously the size. It's, uh, it's smaller than the 100D light. The 60D is a lot smaller than the 100D. And also let's take a look at the actual weight of the 60D light. It's about 24.09 ounce. And the 100D light weighs about 50.16. So there you go. Um, these lights, they may look like they're from the same company, the same series lineup. But in my honest opinion, these two lights are very different. And let me show you why. If you take a look at the back portion of the light, they're using two different cables. One moment. Let me show you guys. Boom and boom. So you always have to make sure you bring the right cable if you own a bunch of aperture and amaran lights. So keep that in mind. And speaking about cables, on the 100D light, you do get this metal hanger right here, whereas the 60D, you do not get that. So keep that in mind. This is actually a lot useful for the lighting stands. Also, with the 60D light, something pretty cool about it is uh, it comes with this cool little adapter for your NPF batteries. One second, let me pop this baby in. All right, there you go. Oh, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, here is the uh, Amaran light with the NPF batteries. Now, I know some people are thinking about the handle right here. We'll talk about the handle in a moment, but uh, the 60D light is very versatile. You could do a lot of crazy stuff to this thing. And let me show you guys. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Look at this. This is crazy. Um, try your best not to get carried away with this. I would have to say that this 60D is very adaptable versus the 100D because the 100D, you just gotta put this on a C stand and call it a day. Whereas the Amaran 60D, you could hook it up to a lot of things with these attachments. One moment. This is a hot shoe attachment, which does not come with it. This is my hot shoe attachment. But anyways, there comes with this handle right here. Let me screw this on. Now with the handle that comes with the 60D, I'll have to say, one second, let me plug this all in. Let me screw this in. The handle that comes with the 60D, it seems to be, in my opinion, a lot sturdier than the 100D. However, the interior of the 100D is actually metal. It's just that the outside is plastic, whereas the this piece right here, it's like crazy. I think it's all full metal everywhere. So that's something for you guys to know. And also you could put your umbrella through here in this slot right there. And for the 100D, it's on this piece of plastic. So that's something for you guys to definitely consider. You guys are putting umbrellas on these lights. And uh, yeah, speaking about umbrellas on these lights, definitely, definitely, I would not recommend the light dome. Um, I do have a light dome, but it's for my 120D. However, I am using my modifiers right here and they are 28 inch modifiers. I think, in my honest opinion, I think that is the biggest you should go on these lights. That's just my opinion, but uh, because I know some of you guys might be moving around. I don't know the longevity on these plastic uh, Bowens mounts, but put it this way. If you're just like me, you're sitting around, you're not moving too much, the 28 inch modifier works just fine. Um, speaking about modifiers, let's talk about the reflectors right quick. Now, here is a difference between the 60D and 100D. You get these reflectors, right? You could attach the reflectors onto the 100D, right? Because it comes with it, obviously. Also, you could plug the reflector on the 60D, no problem, and put it, let me plug it in one moment. Bam, right? This is 
perfectly fine. You guys are like, okay, yeah, obviously this is bone smell, right? Now, let me show you guys something. Now, this mini reflector that comes with the 60D only works for the 60D. It does not work for the 100D. It does not fit, so keep that in mind. If you are a huge Aperture Amaran light user and owner, these things do not interchange, so that's something for you guys to know. These two lights may be the same series, the same, you know, bracket, the Amaran bracket, but uh, under Aperture, but these lights are not interchangeable. So that is something for you guys to definitely know. And also, let me show you guys the box. Yes, the box is actually really important. All right, so here's the Amaran 60D and here is the Amaran 100D. And as you can clearly see, the 60D is a lot smaller than the 100D. That is for sure. I think it's almost about, I would say maybe three. Three of this equals one of this. So that's just kind of like an estimate right there. But uh, let me show you guys the inside of the box of the Amaran 60D because it's pretty cool. Now here is the Amaran 60D box right here, and it's a briefcase. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like steel star for me. Ah! But yeah, there you go. Everything fits perfectly in this box, and this is all you need if you are traveling a lot. And I don't know. Oh. Now some of you guys may be thinking, why is it important? for the viewers to know about the box. And it's because some of you guys might be traveling. You guys might not be, you know, carrying your stuff on the plane. You guys have a courier. You guys ship your equipment to another destination. The Amaran 60D makes it a lot easier. So there you go. Ooh, the styrofoam actually kills me. That might be a negative on me right there. Styrofoam, Woo. Anyways, back to the lights. Now, in terms of similarities, both of these lights do have special effects. However, you do need a smartphone and also the Cities app to access the special effects. If you do not have your smartphone, there is absolutely no way on this light to access the special effects. There is no button on this light that can do that. So keep that in mind. Now, in terms of fan noise, I do have the 60D right here. I do have the 100D right here. And this is what it sounds like. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but the 60D fan is always on, no matter what, it's always on. My 100D is not on, it's silent. So if you hear any noise, that is a 60D. My mic is about a feet away from me. The actual fan is three feet away from me. So there you go. In terms of intensity, at 10% to 100%, aiming at the light meter at the same spot with the 28 inch modifier. This is what it looks like. Now in my conclusion, the 60D at 100% is roughly around like 78% on this 100D light. So keep that in mind, because we could just round it up. It's about 80%, so there you go. Now in terms of heat, in my test, I'm testing out both lights at 100% intensity. I am measuring the power brick and also the light every 15 minutes up to one hour. And in my conclusion, I will have to say that the 100D and 60D did fairly well on the temps and maintaining the temperature over time, right? But the power brick is very concerning to me. The power brick on the 60D was relatively hot. It was just, it's just winter time now. And uh, I can imagine the summertime, it might be 10 to 15 degrees warmer in the summer in my room. So with that said, um, 140 Fahrenheit is basically, you know, you could extract oils from seeds, right? So there you go, right? So in my case, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put my dumbbell weights underneath the actual power brick so I can kind of cool off the power brick during the summer. In a nutshell, one hour of recording with the power brick for the 60D is the most I can do on this light. After that, I'm just gonna turn it off and let it cool off. While the 100D, I could see this go up to two hours of recording, no problem. But, uh, but yeah, that is my opinion. Some of you guys may have a different opinion about that, but that's okay. That's just, you know, you know my own two cents. There you go, yeah, there you go. But anyways, let's talk price. It's 170 for the 60D, it's 200 for the 100D. It's a $30 difference. And in my opinion, again, you're buying the 60D as a companion to the 100D. 
or you can use this as an actual, you know, primary light. Just make sure you don't use this for too long. And also, uh, right before we end this video, someone did ask me a question, which I kind of answered with the whole app stuff, but uh, someone asked me, do you actually need a smartphone to use these lights? And my answer to you guys is yes. The reason why I say yes is because both of these lights, actually all four of these lights, yes, I have the Amram 100D, 60D, 60D, 100D right here. All four of them, you need to update the firmware. If you don't update the firmware, what will happen is your light will turn off by itself. If you've been following my Instagram, you have seen me whine about it. Yes, for this whole time, my lights has not turned off anymore because of a firmware update. I find that really weird. I think that Amrash should ship these lights at default to not do that because it's, it's a light. I know I'm gonna sound kind of old, but back in my days, when I buy a light, I just plug it in the wall and just turn it on and play with intensity and walk away. But in the market today, it's controlled by firmware, smartphones, and you know apps, and it just it gets a little complex right there. So to answer those people that are wondering, do you need a smartphone to access these lights? And my answer is yes. If you see someone complaining about their lights turning off, it's because they did not update the firmware. I was part of that group at one point. And let me put it this way, it's a silly thing. I will, I will definitely put that fault on Amaran Aperture, not the actual users, because it should just come again. It should just come as default. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for checking me back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the merch store. And yep, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Take it easy. Peace.